and welcome to Kicker Play Studio tutorials. Look at some other tutorials how to create background by using pre-made models. Um, now we're going to create something that can be outside. It will take a little bit time to create but we'll see what we come up with. And I want to create outside wintry look with a view. So with three planes, the foreground, the middle ground and background. So we'll start by creating first close-up. For this one I'll use a standard terrain. Let me go ahead, shrink a little bit, bring closer. Okay. And I'm right now using a VU 11 Extreme. You notice right here I have a scale, so it's kind of a little bit helpful to me to look what size. If you don't have a scale, if you're using, for example, um, a sprint or other ones, you always can create, for example, as other reference, like go ahead, add some tree to your scenery. And with this, you can see approximately what is scale. And that is also helpful if you're not familiar with the meters or other scales, so you can bring up and you can look and see, okay, this is approximately scale for that size of the tree. Okay, so I'll just leave it for now. We can reference also. It's sometimes helpful to reference where to position the other. Right now, let's go select our terrain, right click, and we'll go to edit this object. What I want to do, I want to create a special shape, kind of maybe for the water so we can preview. For this, I'm going to flatten. Okay, we'll go select paint, select the raise tools, maybe pop a little bit, be sure it's not inverted, and first kind of like draw right here. You just create simple. Well, you can see it. Um, you can have a different shape if you like it. It just depends on uh, what you're going after. Just again, put a, put a camera look for this one. Maybe too high bump some areas. So I'm going right here, a little bit decreasing. After this, I'm going to effect and click on diffuse make much smaller. So if you click and hold down, it will just continue diffusing. Okay, let's click, okay, right now, preview. Okay, I'll take main camera and just slightly moving above. Just the right position. Again, when you're creating um, terrain, it doesn't mean you're locked to this. We can go back anytime, fixing if we find something like maybe this one is too high or readjusting some other stuff. Okay, so this is our first terrain and I'm going to create layer for this. I'll just call front. Take our terrain and move there. So next, what I want to do is create now Another terrain, maybe around this area, will be middle, kind of with a trees middle type. So we'll do create another terrain, shrink it. Okay, maybe around here. Let me extend it. So this is will be our middle terrain. What I want to do is edit. I can actually switch even the angle so it will bring a little bit more interesting details. Okay, let's go ahead, click edit, and we'll scoop this as well. So we'll just set it, paint, be sure we right now have a little bit bigger. Here, creating 
a bit taller. Let's look again. So it's constantly kind of looking and I'm see how tall it is. You will can reduce a little bit more details with a smaller brush. Okay, right here. Okay, that is going about right. Okay, let's click OK, preview. So right now I'm want to actually render on a screen and see how it will look there. Okay, so right here you can see it's actually look nice. My trees will go right this area. I want to add something on a background, maybe around right this area and pop up a little bit higher. So let's um, increase this one. Just make this one, this mountain a little bit taller. We'll go keep it right there so we can increasing and we'll go create another terrain. Okay, I'll go shrink it and I'll put it right here on the back. The one thing actually what I want to do with this, I want to reset it and add peaks. Sometimes you can press a few times till you have a nice shape for the peaks. Okay, we'll stretch this out. And we can actually shrink a little bit more. And positioning. Okay, the reason why I don't worry about this one, maybe I want to add actually, so the trees go a little bit more interesting this way. Okay, bring a little bit up right here. So just once have this nice flow going with the trees. Okay, this time I think um, terrain is kind of done preset. I maybe modify after, but for now we'll just leave it like this. Um, next, what I want to do it is start work on materials. So we'll continue this in a next tutorial. Before actually closing, let me create a few layers to clean up, kind of to separate. Here we'll create new one. Okay, 